Hello people, what's going up? I am Tejas, I am from Breaking Code and today we are here to teach you another problem. It's from the beginner section, very basic problem, not very basic like for a beginner, but uh, let's start. The name of the problem is factorial. Uh, of course, it's not a problem from your primary section like what you study how to find a factorial of a number, but uh, it's slightly complicated. What you have to find in this number is how many zeros are at the ending of the any given factor, uh, factorial of any given number. So, uh, like let's take an example the factorial of 5 is 120. So, there is one zero at the end. So, we have to find how many zeros are at the end. Like ta uh, let's take an example 7. Factorial of 7 is just let me check 5040. So, there is one zero at the end. So, just we have to print 1 because there is 1 0 at the end. So, this is what we have to do in this sum, uh, like find the factorial. For the very beginner, like people might be very surprised and might be in a confusion, like how to find a factorial of bigger numbers, how to find how many zeros are at the end. But let me tell you a very basic logic, like 4 factorial is 24. So, there is no 0 at the end. So, 5 factorial is 120. Again, if we check, uh, so what this uh, so what the logic of this sum is you always get a zero at the end if you multiply five with any even number so obviously a number which is less than uh, in factorial we divide five by its previous number which is always even so this is the logic for this sum like uh, if we have five then this, uh, the end will be zero in seven again we do seven into six into five into four then again there is a multiple five that's why we get a zero at the end so just we have to count how many files do come in uh, such examples like so the basic logic of this sum is if we are given a number n then what we do is divide this n by 5 and we get the number of zeros initially like it's not a foolproof logic just for the smaller numbers uh, like in this case it's 7 7 divided by 5 is 1 because integer by integer will give you an integer that's why we get 1 0 at the end now let's take an example 12 12 divided by 5 is 2 and obviously this is right because factorial of 12 is something 4, 7 and some digits there is 6 and there is 0, 0. You can check it on net, it is available. <laughs> I am not going to write the full thing. Uh, so this is the logic for this sum what you have to do. But there is a but, but is in the capital letters. There is a twist in this sum. Like let me show you what is the factorial of 26. Now. In this sum, uh, like uh, 26, if you divide 26 by 5, you get 5. So, now what the factorial of 26 is? 4, 0, 3, something, something, something. And there are 6 zeros at the end. Now, how does this 6 come from? Like, uh, the answer should have been 5, but why 6? It is because... In uh, 26 factorial, we have a factor like 26 into 25. What this 25 comprises of 5 into 5. So that's why 1 5 gets added extra and that is the reason why we get 6 zeros at the answer. So what the basic logic of this sum is, what we have to do is 26 divided by 5 is 5. Then uh, if this 5 is greater than or equal to 5, then we again divide it by 5. So now the question is 1. And then add this one to what originally we got. So this is what the logic of the sum is. Like let me show you again. We take a number from the uh, input from the user. Like let's take a, another example 32. 32 divided by 5 is 6. So store this 6 in uh, count variable. Now again 6 is greater than or equal to 5. So 6 divided by 5 again becomes 1 again add it to the initial count so total answer will be 7 so there are 7 zeros in the factorial of 32 at the end so this is what the logic of the sum is you use a while loop and uh, keep on dividing the number until it's greater than or equal to 5 and just uh, keep on adding the quotients of the number like in this case it was 6 in this case it was 1 so like uh, let's take another example if the number is 126 what we do is, uh, after dividing 126 by 5, what we get is 25. So, store this uh, value 25 in an integer. Again, divide 25 by 5. 
so the answer is 5 so again add this 5 to 25 then again 5 is greater than or equal to 5 then again divided by 5 now the value is 1 as it is smaller so add this 1 5 and 25 so the total answer is 31 so at the end of uh, 126 factorial there are 31 zeros okay I'm not gonna write what 26 factorial is uh, so uh, this is what the logic of this sum was uh, thanks guys for watching the video like the video and <laughs> please do subscribe to our channel we'll be making more videos on complex stuff uh, if you have any problem any doubt related to this sum or any other sum do post your doubt in the comment section below and thank you